Hello everyone, Aiden365 here, yet another day, yet another tune, and this time, oi, have we got a, what would we say, convoluted complex time signature for you. So the last couple of days I have been playing tunes with um, unusual time signatures. We've had 9-8 slip jig, and uh, we've had, did you guess what last night's one was? I hope that you guessed it was Dave Brubeck's Take 5. Five being the crucial number there. Um, tonight, however, I'm not going to give you the, team, the time signature at all. I'll give you it tomorrow. What is the time signature of this piece of music? I will, however, give you a clue. It's not from Sweden. It's not from America. And it's not from Scotland or indeed the British Isles. It's from another country. Uh, who indeed was responsible for providing this tune? Well, I will tell you that. A few years ago, I spent um, a week annually playing with the great Rod Straddling. Rod, if you're listening, this tune is for you. This should bring back some rather uh, interesting memories of us playing this. So, what is the time signature, my friends? Uh, the tune itself is in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts. Um, it goes by quite quickly, so if you're sitting there going, oh lordy lordy, he's going to play seven parts. Yes he is. Actually he might play 14 parts. I might play the whole thing twice through. Because there is bound to be a mistake or two or a little whoopsie as we're going along. Okay everybody, name the time signature. I wish you good luck with that. I wish me good luck with playing it. Here we go. And there we have it. Guess the time signature. I'm not going to give you the title because I know that you'll all just Google it and give me the time signature correctly. And that takes half the fun away. You've got to feel it. You've got to feel that pulse. Good luck with that. Thank you so much for watching, listening and supporting the channel. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.